notice I always start my videos by saying, hey guys, and I feel like that's like a real canned beginning. Dudes, sounds like I'm trying too hard to be cool. Hmm. Gentlemen, what is up? Gentlemen, what's up? Today, we are going over my bass tone. More specifically, the bass tone I used in my most recent video, Rectify a Rock. Um, I had a few requests to go over this tone, so without further ado, let's go over it. So first of all, let's give it a little listen. go through it. It's pretty simple. Now first off, I am playing <clears throat> this. Can you see this? You see this? It's my Squire Jaguar bass. Nothing special. Oh God. What you do need to keep in mind is that that has an active preamp. And what does that mean? Google it. It means the output of that bass is going to be higher than that of just a straight passive bass. So, I've had to in the past knock down my input level. That's why I have this volume block here. Negative three dB, because it was a little hot going in there. And I was getting some unfavorable sounds. So that's how it starts off. I lied. I do have the input gate on. Input gate, typical settings for me, 10 milliseconds. We're not letting anything through. Then I have that volume block, negative three dB. It's a gain block, not a volume block, a gain block, my apologies. Then I am using the Obsidian 7000. The key here is I'm not using any of the distortion. I'm using this to kind of sculpt and mold. Um, all right, so what are we doing? The drive is at 8.9. The level is at 0.8. The blend, 6.1. Grunt is set to boost. Attack is set to boost. Master is 5.6. Bass is plus 6 dB. Um, the low mid frequency is set to 250 hertz. The low mid is then minus 3.9 dB. So I'm cutting out some honkiness. Um... The high mid frequency is set to 3 kilohertz, and I am boosting that 2.6 dB. Um, where am I? Oh yeah, treble, plus 3 dB. Plus 3 dB. I like a bright bass tone. And then, like I said, the distortion is off. That is going into the SVT Beast Bright, so it's an SVT, an Ampeg. Um, on that, we have the drive set to 2, the bass set to 2.5, the mid set to 9, the mid frequency, 800 kilohertz, the treble is at 9, the channel volume is at 10, the master is at 10, Sag, hum, ripple, bias, and bias X, I believe, are all default. Now, 
We're going into an own hammer impulse. I know. Shocking and surprising for me. Um, I just like their stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. I've bought all the every th impulse I've used by own hammer. I purchased with my own money. So for this one, we are using a 2048 IR block, which is the higher resolution. Um, and we are using the OH410 AMPG SVT10 port. It's a mouthful. So it's a 4x10. Ampeg, 4x10. Um, no low cut, no high cut. And I do have a compressor block on there, but it's not engaged. Um, I was toying around with it. I don't think I've ever used it. Oh, and by the way, the name of this this preset is called Ghost Bass. I did a cover of a ghost song, Searcy, and this is a bass... This is the preset I used for that. So I, I end up using this for pretty much anything that's not metal. If it's a rock tone, I'll use this preset. Now I did do a little bit of, you know, processing in the mix. So let's go and see what we did there. Okay. First off, I have Fab Filter. I have two plugins going in on this track. Fab Filter, let's see what that's doing. That's not pretty. So I'm, I'm notching at 134 hertz, and I'm cutting at 293 with a pretty big cue, pretty wide cue, to get rid of some of the honk. I'll play it again. Just kind of sounds like a fart, you know? Um, I'm boosting at 2K, 2.6K. That's all the bright chime. That's all that brightness. I like a bright bass tone. And then I have a, um, a high cut, but it's not doing a ton. It's not doing a ton, but I just didn't want anything to get out of hand up there. And that's it. Oh, oh, and a low cut, sorry. Let's see what that's doing. Just getting rid of some of those really low sub frequencies um, that I find I didn't need. And then I have L1, Waves L1, and it's just basically kind of leveling my playing out. Because you can hear, I'm not super consistent on bass. I, I don't play nearly as much as I used to. Find a spot where it's really clamping down. So it's not doing a ton. Like I said, when it gets really out of control, it's just kind of leveling it off. Um, typically, I do it a little bit more. I was kind of reserved on this one. And that's really it for the bass on this song, guys. That being said, thanks so much for all the positive feedback. Thank you for your comments and your suggestions. Uh, you're really kind of keeping me on task, which I really enjoy. And um, we'll see you in the next one.